John chapter 8, and what I'm talking about here is that the truth, the truth, you get that? You have, to, you have to realize these words. The truth shall make you free. Is that right? So it's the truth that makes you free, right? Not necessarily a gift. Now, a gift can be used and helped, but it's the truth that makes you free. So John chapter 8, verse 31 says, Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then... Are you my disciples indeed or in truth? Verse 32. And you, you who continue in my word that are my disciples, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Shall make you free. Get that. Okay. Now, here where he said, if you continue in my word, that word continue, number 3306, Strong's Concordance, it's the word mino. It means to stay in a given place or state or relation or even to stay in a state of, of expectancy. It's translated as to abide, to continue, to dwell, to endure, to be present, to remain and to stand and to even to tarry. So it's talking about staying put. It's talking about not quitting. That seems to be the theme for today. But it's saying stay put. If you continue in my word, if you stay in my word, meaning doing it, listening, praying, practicing, every, if you stay in my word, then are you my disciples. And he said, and the truth, which is what? His word is what he's talking about. And the truth shall make you free. Now watch. It says uh, where he said, if you continue in my word. Now the word word there is number 3056. It's uh, the word logos as we know. Notice Jesus, the logos, is saying if you continue in my logos. Why? Because his logos is him. His word is him. Him and his word are the same. Do you get that? <clears throat> he says, now it literally means, the logos means something said. When I get it, it is the Concept, or it's a general idea, meaning, in other words, it, it is the Word of God rightly divided, okay? It means that, let's, say, let's take a topic like healing. If you understand healing, you, you have an understanding of it, you know the logos of healing. It, it is understood. If you can say, well, here's, here's how healing works, here's, it's provided, it's paid for, it's done deal, and here's how it works, and here's what, then you have the logos on healing, all right? Now, if you don't, you don't have the Logos on you. But Jesus said, if you continue, if you stay put in my Logos, and in this, understand this general, what he's teaching, his teachings, okay? He said, then the truth shall make you free. Now, the word here uh, means it's a subject of discourse. In other words, his teachings is Jesus, what Jesus is saying. And it means also uh, even your motive. So it's Jesus' teachings were his motives. It's what moved him. Say, well, if you get that, you'll realize you can't separate him from his word. Now, notice here too, it says, if you continue in my word. Now, in the literal Greek, it says, if you continue, now get this, this sounds, it's not English, so it sounds a little strange. But the way we would translate it is, if you continue in the word of the me. Do you get that? If you continue in the word of the me, Jesus is saying. You understand? Both, both of this uh, has, both word and me there, has uh, the definite article. So it's pointing directly to this. And if you continue in the word, which is mine, we would say, which is his, right? So it's very pointed. And he says, if you do that, it literally means, okay, the logos Literally, the logos, the word of the me. Now, it's like I said, it's not good English. Well, guess why? Because it's Greek. It's not supposed to be good English, okay? Now, the word know. He says, you shall know. Now, that word know is number 1097, and it is the Greek word gnosko, gnosko. And literally means to know and to know absolutely. In other words, you know it, and it's sure, and it's something that you can't back off. You, you would never back off. You would never say, well, that's not true. Or, no, you know this. Usually implies some type of experience, that you have experienced it. Now, are, are you getting the fullness of this, of what he's talking about here? Because he's talking about his word. The reason I'm saying this is because it's his word 
you're going to see this in just a minute, that is working. It's the power of his word that's working in you even as I speak because that word is truth and that truth makes you free, makes you free. It doesn't just set you free. It makes you free. Do you get that? In other words, there is nothing that can withstand that word if you continue in that word. If you stay put in that word and you say, this word is true to me, then at that point, that truth, there is nothing can, that can withstand. I don't care what the doctors say. I don't care what the diagnosis is. None of that matters. All that matters is, is that you stand and you don't back off and you don't renounce or deny Christ. How do you deny Christ in this? Uh, well, if you deny his word, you deny him. Why? Because he and his word are one. Do you hear that? So when you say something that disagrees with the word, you are in effect denying Christ on that level. Now, I'm not saying you're losing your eternal life. I'm not saying that necessarily. I'm saying that the aspect of salvation, let's say it's healing, that you would not experience that aspect of salvation being healed because you have denied Christ in that area. Is, that, is everybody clear on that? Right? I'm not saying that if you say, well, you know, I'm not healed, that you're going to hell. I'm not saying that. All right? I'm saying that you are denying Christ and his words in the area of healing, which means what? You won't get healed. Amen? But if you hear the truth and you decide to stay, continue in the truth of his word, that truth of his word will make you free. That means that no matter how much that sickness or disease has entwined itself in you, that truth comes in and it's a two-edged sword and it will cut right through that and it will separate that sickness or disease from you and make you free. Amen? Amen? That's why I'm taking my time in saying this because as I say that and as you receive revelation on that, it is working stronger in you and I'm giving the Holy Spirit time to do surgery. 